Welcome back to Astroneer. JC here, and as I said before, we will start off at Zikor. Now then, on my back is some quartz. We just don't, you don't even get to jump because it just changes gravity for you, which is you know handy. There you go. There's a symbol we couldn't understand before because we're too far away. It's not one of these. What you need to do is you need to find whichever one of these was closest to where you jumped from. Which would be the roof. So we take the tether and we run around. Right, okay. Excuse me. Which one of you people has my tether? Before I run out of oxygen and die. Which would be very embarrassing. Uh, uh, okay. Well. This is going to get embarrassing quickly. There it is, I was blind as a bat. Drop one there. And drop another one there. Yeah, we're going to have to stick one to the wall to make this work. There we go, right. So no matter what happens, we're not going to run out of, you know, breathing. Ooh. Unclassified Egnature Signature. Egnature? It's first thing in the morning. Don't question me. Don't question it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one. For reasons I totally do not know. I do know. We'll find out in a minute. Okay, now with these weird energies, geez, we go. Whoa, I hate study now. Back up to here, or back down to here, or gravity. Stick that in there. And yes, an odd stone has now become available. Origin node is now lit up. These are all dim. Other than that one active one there. Yes. But there's this one up here. Huh. Can't go there yet. Well. We know what we're going to be doing then, don't we? So, what's going to happen? is there's going to be yeah there's going to be a time cut to me reaching the surface <clears throat> because you know this isn't going to be entertaining okay that bit's going to be entertaining for you what the okay excuse me excuse me mister can I get back on now thank you <clears throat> Hold on. I'm being an idiot, aren't I? Of course I'm being an idiot. There's going to be no time skip because, haha, <laughs> I can just do this. Oh. Um. Ah. 
Oh, I'm on a seat. No, oh, never mind. Oh. 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 Was that entirely necessary? Either way, you sort of just drop down here and it's like, oh no, I, I don't have anything. Oh wait, yes, I do have tethers. Well, let's just rectify this little issue, shall we? Minor little uh, issue. Oh, being all the way back up here on the surface is just like where gravity is so like hard. Yes, you get to watch me walk all the way back. Uh. Yep, definitely not pulling up a blank on anything to say. No, that, that definitely wouldn't be my normal style. I mean, I could ask for things in comments, but that never happens. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. While I am finishing this trip off, so far, what are your thoughts on Astroneer and this series as general? There we go, in the comments. Because actually that will be interesting to know, though probably not for this series, because announcement later at the end, so you have to wait till the end. But here we are, back at base, yay. I have been resupplying occasionally and draining all my scrap reserves. Yeah, just ignore that. That's for later. Yeah, I did upgrade to a high cuisine thruster because I was sick and tired of it all. And what I'm actually going to do so we're going to go in there, going to zoom off, I'm going to go to space. So you get to see how much fuel one blast off or one round trip uses. If it uses a full canister I'm going to get peeved. Now somewhere out here you notice, since I visited and powered up that core, that wasn't there before. We're going there. Which is in A direction. There it is. Looks familiar, doesn't it? I don't think it really matters which of the landing pads I land on. Just land on one of them. Let me orientate, please. Landing. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That used... What we say about a quarter of a tank. So each one of these has two round trips in them. So, yeah. But, apart from that... What the... Funkiness. Yeah, and here are the landing pads. Something else I've just spotted. Old stuff. 
Oh, here we go, see? This is on. There you go. There's the bright one. It's active now. So I guess just visiting here has done something, but also. There's lots of symbols. And one of these symbols, that one in particular, matches that. I have absolutely no clue what this actually does, but I'm guessing getting all of them is end game. And it sort of activates a teleporter to another solar system or something stupendously dumb like that. Probably. Now I would teleport back to test it, but then that would leave my rocket here. And I'm not entirely prepared for that. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back home. Those are some funky hard looking planets. Oh, right, yeah, that would be those planets. There we go. Ah, bright light! A grief game? You trying to do blind me and my audience? And look, home has just happened to have drifted around. Landing, please. And out. There we go, it is, yes, half a tank. Oh, yeah, you can also tell in the front there, yeah. half a tank. So one of these tanks is two round trips. There we go. There's some more science for you. Public service and all that jazz. Now then, as you probably told, can tell from the title, is the next part. We're going to be doing an awful lot of work to get one of these. I have collected, as far as I know, all the materials. Look at it all, just to make one. So we're going to backtrack. So from a nanocarbon, you'll need titanium alloy and steel. Okay. Well, steel is just iron, carbon, and Argon. Okay, do that. Note, to get most of these gases, you're going to need to visit basically all the planets that we've already visited. Right, steel, stick that over to the side. The next one, the titanium alloy. With titanium, and graphene, along with nitrogen. <clears throat> so, graphene. We cycle through. Graphene, graphite, and hydrazine. Hydrazine, two ammonium, hydrogen. Easily doable, all from this planet. So we set that up. Good job the chemistry lab's quick. Thank you. Put that over there. That's also how you make the fuel for the shuttle at the moment. So, not that bad, seeing as we passed a absolute truckload of this stuff near the core. Funny, that. 
No, other way, moron. There we go. Raphine! By the end of this process, we should just be left with gases. Yeah, we're going to be just be left with containers of gases. I mean, the only gas I don't have is sulfur, which is only used for explosive powder at the moment. So there we go, titanium. Ah. Uh, uh huh. Titanium alloy. Funky looking stuff. But the last one is the nano carbon alloy. Well, hey, I have made. End game materials. And I am blatantly going to set this up as a thumbnail as I bodge around with it. Yeah! Look at that! Right. And yoink that out. And then we, we do another thing. We look in here. I just cast the R, but did I? Did I already unlock it? No, no, I didn't. Here we go. There we are. 10,000 bytes, but by the time you've visited all the planets, you can just bring back two bits of research from like Glacio, which are like six or seven thousand each. Job done. One RTG unlocked. There we go. I'm just going to put that there. Because RTGs are going to be installed in other places. But first of all, we had an issue with powering the vehicle, of which I have added another trailer. And a soil centrifuge. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell that's a much more advanced version than the one that comes with the survival shelter. But now... If I climb around to the right side, we'll... Right side of it. Get in. Now I can drain. Now I can drive and I'm not even draining the battery. Look at this sucker. It's huge. I am starting to regret putting that there. Design choices. Okay. I regret my design choices. Get off. You go there. You. Whoa. Hey. You go on the back there. There we go. That's much better. And I could put storage there. And that's going to mostly be down there. It'll spend the remainder of its life underground. doing whatever. Well, having a quick check at the timer. I do have a little bit more time. So what we will do 
is we will attempt to do this live. And watch as I completely ruin the entry. Yes, uh, this was built for smaller vehicles. Note, this was most definitely built for smaller vehicles. Just going to have to smooth out. Oh look, some compound I didn't collect before. Roll by yourself! No! Oh god! It's self driving! What have I done? Alright, so what we do, what I have noticed is that you should really just swing around to the side and then inject, because otherwise the vehicle will eat you. Of course, all of that was going absolutely nowhere because I have no canisters in it at the moment. Okay. Note to self. Stuff on a vehicle can phase through solid matter. Also note to self. This thing is far bigger than I thought it was. But we're on a flat platform at the moment. So we can just sort of fix the clearance issues so it, it looks right. Even though it's utterly wrong that this thing should be actually fitted down. You know, that's a purely a technicality. Purely a technicality that I can work around. Extend the top. Whoa, hello. Um, one misclick later. <clears throat> I mean, I could quite literally just send this down here and start doing work down there instead. Yeah, let's do that. Even though it fits. Well, hey, I'm going sideways. This thing has about as much grip as a Teflon, maybe non-stick. That really just did want to go sideways, which is disconcerting. But it is now down here. Whether it will get back out again is beyond me. But it's down here, and so can now consume large amounts of dirt and turn them into raw resources without me having to ferry myself down up and down here with some tiny little canisters. Though I am going to need canisters. But that can be probably for another time. Nobody wants to see me mess around 
loading that up with canisters. At least not on a YouTube video. Which is uh, kind of what leads us on to the next and final topic being the announcement I said a little bit ago. Now that I have basically shown off progression all the way up to getting a uh, end game item, the RTG, uh, and also drilling to well one planet's core and showing you what happens with said cores it's there's not an awful lot left to show that I haven't all now already done so with that and with the upcoming new game that will be replacing this series I will be concluding this series on YouTube. Now, what I will be doing though, is this save will be continued on Twitch. At some point in the near future, I will be streaming various things. Astroneer will be included on those probably along with its replacement just for something slightly different so with that that would be the end of the YouTube series but the save and drilling to the cores of all the other planets setting up a more reasonable base than on every planet other than two platforms and a beacon and maybe a landing pad you know something like actually properly fixing their power with RTGs sticking down shelters to stick down a shelter I will need to acquire and build the large shuttle to fit the cargo pod into it all those kind of things as well as as I said drilling to the cores, getting the core activated and then taking their little icon to the space station to finally uncover what it does. Because even I don't know, because as soon as I started seeing people doing that stuff on YouTube, I stopped paying attention because I wanted to do it myself. And so, uh, with that explanation out of the way, that was the announcement. The series for YouTube will be ending here, but it's not over. So, anybody who enjoyed this, pay attention to my Twitter. That is where I will be announcing my I will be going live soon things. Because I'm too small on YouTube at the moment, at the time of recording, to actually have a community tab. Because I've got, like, five people. Because I suck. Anyway, I should also note... Should have said this. That the replacement will be satisfactory. Yes. We're going factory building. I kind of always wanted to get into Factorio. But seeing as the most of the YouTubers I watched introduced me to Satisfactory, which is sort of Factorio 3D, chucking some Subnautica, because that's the kind of vibe it gives. Yeah. So that will be this series' replacement.
for better or worse. And so, now looking at the time, I have managed to make an announcement last for like five minutes, which is an achievement. Even by my standards, I managed to waffle on about something for five minutes. But either way, this little chappy here is going to wave at you repeatedly, and there will be a clicking noise because I have to push the button. Yeah, keep waving, boy. Keep waving. It's the last time they're going to see you on YouTube. Wave. Right. Thank you for watching, and until next time, JC out.